You guys here already? Dang. Um, anyways, don't look at me. I look kind of messed up in the hair, everything. It's not about me, it's about you. And I'm about to give you an advice. Yeah, don't be cringy. That's one advice that everybody should know. Hey, you guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another video. We're going to be giving lower classmen advices. Freshman, sophomore, and junior, because I'm going to be senior next year, so I'm not doing it for the seniors. So we're going to start with the freshmen. Freshman year, easiest year, <laughs> you shouldn't be failing your classes at all. At all. A's and B's. That, that might be the only year out of your high school life that you have A's and B's. Because when you go to the other grades, you got to actually try to be keeping them grades up, okay? You can't you can't let your grades slip. It takes forever to even bring them up. They go up by like 2%. You turn in one work and it was at 67% and now it's at 80. Like, dude, go to the next grade level, not the next percentage. It's, yeah, keep your grades up. For any grade level, keep your grades up. Grades shouldn't be low. If it is low, then uh, you literally got a whole year, so you better try to bring them up. Be nice to your teachers. They're the ones who's teaching you and, you know, helping you build up. Use your teachers. You need your teachers to even pass the grades. So if you're not nice to the teacher, then your grade's going to be low. And if you don't want that teacher, then either switch to another teacher. It's not that hard. Don't be actually trying to go to college and actually trying to have a career and you know what you're doing in life, then you want to have AP classes. Take two, only take two. If you're a freshman year, take two. You do not need to have all your classes AP. And CP is college prep. So that's, those are still easy classes. Those are regular classes. It just says college prep and it's, it's not hard. It's not honors. Honors, I don't know what's the difference between AP and honors actually. I feel like AP is harder than honors. Or, I don't know, who knows, but if you have AP or honors, that's good too. That's good too. You want to take classes that's actually going to be helping you for your career. <laughs> if you don't need those classes, don't take them. Make sure you take the right classes. Yeah, you want to definitely turn in your homework. <laughs> your homework is literally your study time. If you don't do your homework, you're not going to know anything on that test or any quizzes that you take. The homework is the study. If you don't want to do real studying, do your homework. It's still studying. Like, you got to know something. So do your homework and get that grade. <laughs> so moving on, we're going to be going to the first day of school, dress to impress, and the last day of school, dress to impress. Those are the only two days out of the whole school year that you need to actually dress to impress. The first day. I mean, the first week of school and the last week of school. Other than that, the middle of the year, you do not have to dress and impress. You are not impressing anybody but yourself. You're dressing for who? You. You're not doing anything for anybody, and you got to have that mindset. I do not care. I didn't say you come to school with your hair not done and your shoes match, match and your clothes looking ugly. Now, come comfortable. Shorts, sweats, hoodies, jackets. Pajamas. I come in pajamas. Those are like Fridays. I don't know why I do that, but it's just Fridays. If your school allows that, then come as you want. But don't be dress coded. Don't be wearing some booty shorts thinking up, oh, I'm comfortable. What do you need showing your booty for? Like, it's not that serious. Coming in a t-shirt, I'm comfortable. Okay, and still cover it up. You, I don't care if you're comfortable. Cover it up. Nobody needs to see that. If people got to talk, let them. If you know that they actually watching you. At least you know that they looking at you. And if you don't want people to look at you, don't be extravagant with your clothes. Like, we're going to be talking about friends. I'm giving it to you straight. You do not need a whole group of friends. You need one main best friend so you don't feel alone. So you can tell them every single thing that's going on with you. And the other friends, yeah, you really don't need a whole group of friends to feel alive. Oh, try to have a different variety of friends. Girls, boys, you know, oh, from different states, different countries, different nationalities. 
different cultures. Like, that is actually cool if you have friends from, like, all that. Or you don't talk about nobody. You don't give a people the reason to talk about you. If they hear you say, oh, you look fat, but you told that to that person, that person could tell that to that person, blah, blah, blah. And you better make sure that friend that you saying it to is like your best friend. <laughs> because if you say that to a person that's not your best friend, they're going to tell everybody. And it's for their benefits because they feel like they need to tell somebody, so they're going to tell everybody. So, you know, don't give them reason. You better be your friends are loyal. Pick the right group of friends, too. You not need to be smoking in the bathroom. Because freshmen must be doing that too. Yeah, I see you guys smoking in the bathroom. And I'm a senior now. And I don't even do that. I mean, it don't make you cool. You do not need to be dick in class either. What are you doing that for? You got lunch. You got passing periods. You got times to see your friends. Like, you do not need to see them all the time. You could easily go to their house after school. Like, come on out. And being late to class... Whew, do not do that freshman year. Do not do that freshman year. That's a bad reputation of you. You giving the other teachers a preview of what you used to do. Ditch class, smoke, in freshman year. And that's the first year. You do not want teachers to do that. This goes for every single grade. Senior years too. Don't rely on anybody but yourself. Who do you need? You. If you actually need somebody, make sure they're actually reliable. But don't rely on anybody. If you're going to be asking for classwork and you're going to be cheating, make sure that person's smart. I mean, if I had to tell you guys, like, come on, do it right. Do it right. I'm not, t I'm not teaching you guys how to be bad. I'm just teaching you guys how to do things right. Like, listen, listen. If you are going to copy somebody's work because you forgot to do it, you don't know the answer, you need help, don't copy the whole work. <laughs> Don't make it obvious for yourself. That's plagiarism. Plagiarism. That's plagiarism. And in college, you're going to be kicked out. <laughs> Kick it out. you going to be out. So, that's the end of part one. Watch part two to continue the video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.